we have a really complicated model and we want to have three different versions, kind of like a middle range one, a low res one, and a high res one. And then as the camera gets closer, you do the mid and then the high res and you're basically dynamically changing level of detail. I have a model here that is, well, the fact that it took a while is the point. Look, look at all of this. It's too much geometry. So one copy is going to be the mid range. That one is the high range. And then another copy is going to be the low range. There is the decimate modifier. So it seems like it's just about a million polygons for this one. Let's make it a hundred thousand. So this is going to take a second. When it's done, make sure to apply this. And then for the low resolution, we're going to do the same thing, but instead of 10%, we're going to do 1%. You're going to see that this one's super dense, this one's mid-range, and this one is low range. And from far away, you can't tell the difference. And we're actually going to hide all of these. So I'm going to make an object. I'm going to use this as basically a placeholder to import in our three objects. So the first one is going to be high, the second one's going to be middle, and the third one is going to be low. I can view each one independently and basically switch between their resolutions. Speaking of switching, that's exactly what I want to do. So I want to switch between the high and the medium and between that and the low. Well, we care about where the camera is. So we are going to bring in the active camera. This goes in an object info node. And second of all, this proxy of ours is also something we need information about. So I'm going to use object info, but this time use self object where both of these are set to relative so that I know where the camera is and I know where the object is. So get the distance. This is basically going to tell us the actual distance between the camera and our proxy object. And we can say if this distance is bigger than some number, so let's say like 12 units or 12 meters, then we are going to switch. And then again, if this distance is even further away, like let's say 30 meters, then we switch again. So you're not actually going to see it, which exactly is the point, right? Where actually it is working. We're switching between them. I want you to look over here at the number of vertices. You can see that's shrinking as we zoom further away. You're not going to notice anything has changed, but now we're down to like 1% of the resolution, right? You can just kind of duplicate this. When I go to the camera, you can see each one is updating dynamically depending on how close this is. So we're doing this calculation one time so that our render is significantly faster. So use this idea in your scenes, get down to like 2% the amount of geometry that you have.